What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we have two pre-release kits. Uh, one Mishra's and one Urza's. I don't know if there's any difference in the pre-release kits for the Brothers War. I'm going to be honest with you. But today's video we're going to open the Mishra one. And the next video we'll do the Urza one. So stay tuned for that one. But if you guys don't know what come in these pre-release kits. We'll find out together because I haven't opened one of these yet. Uh, for this set. So we will find out together. Come on. I'm having such a hard time. Okay, so. We have a whole bunch of pop-outs for it, I guess. Hey. And then a box that slides out. And then on this, you do have some pop-out little counters and whatnot all around. Okay, so in the actual pre-release kit itself, got a a die which i'm assuming might be specific to the set we'll see when we open the next one and in this one we have a few cards so we'll open this and it looks like six booster packs so we'll slide the packs to the back and we'll see what is in these little guys here if I can get it open, you know, because they're using adult safe plastic now, so we can't open it. All right, Diabolic Intent, a Arena card, and some more tokens. So I wonder if the Urza one has a different card in it. We'll see. But six packs. Let's open them up. We'll slide these to the back. Don't want anyone to think I'm cheating opening these packs. We're gonna. I actually haven't looked at this set, so I don't know what's in this set to begin with. Does that count as a. Yeah, look at that. It's cut. <laughs> Disfigure. New Evolving Wilds. So leave a comment down below what your favorite card in this set is because, like I said, I haven't... Oh, look, the Might and the Me Stone. I actually haven't looked at this set to see what's in it, so I don't know what's in this set. Next pack. Ooh. I've heard some good things about this set and some bad things about this set, so we shall see. Uh, to do when there's the battlefield, draw a card, pay two. Dies, create a top power stone. This knocks its friend chain. Exile all gray rars. Players can't cast non creature spells this turn. Interesting. Power suit, heavyweight demolisher. A Land of War Wastes, and a Thorn of the Animist. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. So probably a creature-heavy deck would play that, I'd imagine. Let's get to the next one. So leave a comment down below if you know if the Urza one has different a uh, different promo in it. Maybe the Urza has a different promo. That one came with a token. Shoot down, caress, deadly repository. Mr. Juggernaut. There's some stuff here I could probably put in my uh, SRAM deck. A lot of artifacts. I guess that, that does go with the Brothers War, though. They were using a lot of machines to fight each other. Uh, random excavator can't block when it's dealt damage. Exile that many cards from the top of your library. Choose one of them until the next turn. You may play that card. Interesting. Chromatic star. Ooh, a shiny archaeologist. Remove the mill cards in your hand. If you don't, put a plus one plus one counter. Interesting. So. 
I wonder what cards are going to be good in standard from these sets. There's probably going to be some artifact decks running around. So, what is that? Power Stone token. Tap, add man, and this mana can't be spent to cast a non artifact spell. Everyone's going to be playing Urza. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting. Lots of machines. Lots of fun stuff. I'm not going to read every single card because we're opening a whole bunch of these. Uh, creatures control have vigilance and tap. Surveil one. So they brought Surveil back in this set. Exile. Do, do, do. From your graveyard, return any number of target artifacts you control. Total mana value 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay, not bad. Definitely pushing the... Ooh, look at that swamp. That's a really nice artwork on the swamps. Alright, fifth pack. So we got two packs left. I'm actually curious. So here's another arena thing and dredging claws. Aeronaut. Pay seven to draw two cards. Okay. Uh, create two one one color of soldier artifacts. This will harvest destroy target artifacts. Yeah, so the the artifact stuff's gonna be big. Uh, meld into your hand if you don't put a plus one plus one counter. A lot of exiled stuff, I'd imagine. Machine over matter. This go for each artifact you control. Return target non land permanent to its owner's hand. Junkyard genius. Create a tap power stone. Uh, and then pay three, sacrifice a creature or artifact at the end of turn. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and have menace and haste. Alright, search your library for up to three artifact cards, put them into the graveyard. So lots of graveyard stuff. Um, graveyard and obviously lots of artifact stuff. Sacrifice it, destroy target on basic land. I control me, search the library for basic. You search your library for basic, so. Not bad. Mistress Foundry. Ivory Tower. At the beginning of your upkeep, you gain life where X life, where X is the number of cards in your hand, minus four. All right. Hoarding Recluse. When it dies, put up to one target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Interesting. All right. Last pack, guys. Last pack of this wonderful, wonderful box. Let's see if we can. I can't even open it. That means this is the one with the best card in the set in it, right? When you can't open it. Alright, Aeronaut Cavalry. Thirst Pass, certain. I mean, seriously, pay seven, draw two cards? I mean, if you get infinite colors mana, I can see that, but other than that, who the hell's gonna pay seven mana to draw two cards? Like, there's way better cards to draw. Like that. Sacrifice, Combat, Courier. And has Earn Earth. Rear to the battlefield against Haste. Exile at the beginning of the end step. Uh, Taunos, the Toy Maker. Whenever you cast a beast or bird creature spell, you may copy it, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Interesting. Sigil of Valor. When a cryptic creature attacks, it gets plus one, plus one to end of turn for each other creature you control. And Kalos Command. Interesting. And then another one of those. All right, guys. So that is the Mishra's Burnished Bam. Burnished Banner pre-release kit. Stay tuned for the next video. We're going to open an Urza Iron Alliance one and see if the promo is different. I really don't know if the promo is different, but I'll see you guys in the next video.